Hello, and welcome back to our instructional video series for the Clear Concepts app. Now today, we're going to be covering the user controls that are available within the app. So as shown, we have the Clear Concepts app open up on our screen. Scrolling down, you will see a list of controls. Some of these are available to all users, while some are only available to users with administrative privileges. First on our list is the Change My Name control. Clicking it will open up the Request Name Change page. And here, you're prompted to enter the name you would like to change to, alongside the reason for the change. Now, as shown near the top, this request can take between 1 and 24 hours to complete. Once you have filled out the form, click Review, and then click Submit. Now, the remaining controls are for users with administrative privileges only. The Change Another User Name control operates similarly to Change My Name. Here, we're prompted to provide the email address of the user whose name is to be changed, the updated name, and the reason for the change. Again, once you're ready, click Review and Submit. The Reset Another User Password control only requires one input, and that's the email address of the user needing the reset. IT accommodations for employee onboarding and offboarding can also be initiated within the app. For employee onboarding, click New Hire Form. Now this form is a little more involved than some of the other controls, so be sure to take your time when filling this one out. At the top, the form asks for employee name, their title in the organization, the department that they'll be working in, start date, manager, and the address of the office that they'll be based out of. Scrolling down a little, we're presented with the optional field to indicate whose profile, if any, this new employee's profile should mirror in terms of account configuration. Now to the right of this input, we're presented with two checkboxes. One to indicate if the employee requires new hardware, and one to indicate if the employee requires access to a virtual private network. Moving down further, we're asked to select the devices the new employee will require. Please hold in the control key and click to select or deselect multiple options. The existing workstation input allows you to specify the identifier of an existing computer or laptop if the new employee will be using one. The shared mailbox input allows you to list any shared email mailboxes that the new employee should have access to. The required software input gives you the opportunity to list any specific software or application requirements for the new employee's laptop or computer. Printer access allows you to list the specific printer identifiers that the new employee should be able to connect to. Shared folders gives you the chance to list any shared folders that the employee should have access to. And lastly, there's an open-ended notes box located at the bottom in case you would like to include any other pertinent information. For employee offboarding, click Departure Form. Now here we ask for the employee's name and their departure date and time. Workstation name pertains to the identifier of the departing employee's computer or laptop. The mailbox access input allows you to list all staff which should have access to the departing employee's emails. And mailbox forwarding allows you to indicate the list of staff which should be forwarded all incoming emails that land in the departing employee's inbox. Now, if you would like an auto-reply to be sent out to individuals sending an email to the departing employee's email address, that can be specified within the mailbox auto-reply message box. File access allows you to list employees which should receive access to the departing employee's files. And software transfer allows you to indicate which software licenses, if any, 
should be transferred from the departing employee and to whom. We also have provided a notes box here for you to type additional details if needed. And then lastly, we have two check boxes. One to indicate whether or not the employee should be blocked from logging into their Microsoft 365 account. And one to indicate whether or not the employee's email messages should be backed up. Thank you for joining us in today's video. And be sure to check out the other instructional videos to get the most out of your experience using the Clear Concepts app.